everybody welcome back to the channel this is mystic white house and today we are playing co what a co who a co what a co who on chapters y'all couldn't wait to get back into this story y'all 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 ready to get into it y'all ready to get to it uh, but before we do, before we do, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Wait, what? Okay, thank you. I don't know what, what is happening? <laughs> I don't want notifications on, y'all. I cannot. No, thank you. Can I just get into this? Thank you, Lord. Anyway, anyway, ignore all that. Let's get into it. Are you going to let me go? A mischievous grin spreads across his face as his finger strokes his shivering line across your waist. What if I don't? <laughs> oh my God. His face peers down on yours and he leans even closer, his lips inches from yours. Is Cole trying to kiss me? Oh, is he trying to get some kisses? Do I want him to? Look, she's blushing. Cole, you can't hold me here forever. You'll let me go eventually. Are you trying to kiss me? I'm saying, are you, are you trying to kiss me, sir? Do you want me to? A man like you doesn't care what other people want, does he? I care what you want, Addison. <laughs> Genuine smiles are rare for me these days, but Cole has my cheeks aching and my stomach flipping. So you never answered my question. What if I don't let you go? What are you going to do to me? Oh, gee, the words sound like a challenge. Oh, okay. So I want to close the gap and surprise him with a kiss. Settle in. I'll show him that I can wait a long time for him to break. Huh, which one, y'all? Okay, I would say close the gap and surprise him with a kiss. <laughs> you let yourself smile seductively and lead forward a mere inch to cross the space between you. His eyes widen as your lips press into his. Then you feel his smile against yours as he slides his free hand behind your head. Your eyes involuntarily close as your lips tangle, your breath matching with him in a sweet hypnosis. Holy hell. <laughs> your breath, the words into his mouth. Wait, you breathe the words into his mouth. I said breath. <laughs> Sorry. You breathe the words into his mouth. In return, he releases a low growl that vibrates your whole body. Why is he growling? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to nibble his lip. Kiss him sweetly slip my tongue into I'm saying I'm gonna nibble his lip <laughs> you take his lip into your mouth and gently bite he makes a little moan okay <laughs> as you kiss your kiss deepens he lets go of your hand and you wrap it around the back of his neck he pushes his body into yours his heat intoxicating as it spreads from him to you holy hell is right <laughs> as he breaks away from you you immediately long again for his touch I have to say goodnight to you now, Addison. But we'll see each other again. I'm sure we will, sir. He steps into the elevator. Y'all, I can't even read. He steps into the elevator and presses the three gold buttons. And as the door closes on him, you hear his voice activation. Cole M. Hmm, interesting. Stunned from your encounter with Cole, you turn toward the lobby doors, eager for a breath of fresh air. You run smack into an energetic looking man in a blue suit. Uh, you're the new Titan. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm on the second floor. Fresh blood. Wait, was that creepy thing? What was that a creepy thing to say? Yes, it was. We don't get a lot of new people here. Okay, I want to formally introduce myself, match his high energy, be mysterious. Should I be mysterious, y'all? Should we be mysterious? I'm gonna be mysterious. <laughs> I might be the new tenant. What's it to you? <laughs> oh, just the pleasure of a new friend. In that case, I'm Addison, but that's all you're getting. <laughs> 
Well, listen, I've got to get up to a call with a hot client of mine, okay? Hot as important, not attractive, though I imagine he can hold his own with the ladies. I'm having some other tenants over for our monthly wine club in an hour. Will you join? Ooh, a wine club? Sia would lose her shit for this man. Sure, can I invite a friend of mine? Ooh, we gonna hook up Sia, you want? The more the merrier, bring her. Him, doesn't matter. Bring whoever you want. Interesting. With that, Jake steps into the elevator, waving happily as the door slides shut. Ooh, we gonna get Sia a man, y'all. I gonna get her a man. Okay, bestie, we need you to have a bad girl. Up in your room, you pursue the new clothes in your closet. You haven't unpacked anything else yet. I'm going to wear something, hmm, okay, sultry, that's cute, effortless, formal. Let's do effortless. I think that's really cute. I'm loving that look, y'all. I love it. Yes. Okay, when Sia arrives at your door, she scans you up and down. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should congratulate myself on having a hot best friend or curse myself. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> okay. Together, you take the elevator down to Jake's floor, entering in the temporary guest code he sent you. Okay. Nice place. Oh, this is nice. You all like the little couch and stuff. Jake answers the door with two glasses of red wine in hand. He pushes them into your and Sia's hand as he ushers you into the apartment. Okay. No time to waste. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> All at once, Sia and Jake fall into an easy conversation, moving eagerly into the room. You spot a woman standing on her own by the snacks and make your way to her. Another tenant? Hmm. I am. Got a name? Do you? <laughs> wow, she is a res as reserved as coal. What's with everyone who frequents the Mary Isio? What is it? Mary Isio? Isio? I don't know. Anyway, Sia sweeps to your side and throws an arm around your shoulder. Jake leans against the counter. This is Dawn, the building shut in. What? When Dawn looks at Jake, her face reddens. Dawn, you don't have to be scared of me. I'm happy to meet you. Building shut in is an important role. I'm gonna say I'm happy to meet you. Don't be mad if I don't return the sentiment. Okay, well, she's a B. I only like people once I've gathered all their secrets. People lie all the time. Okay, if you know all the secrets here, then tell us why is this place so mysterious? Who the hell owns it, right? Mafia. Okay, wait. I thought this was a silly rumor. Why does the mafia own an apartment building? You're joking. Why does yeah, yeah, why do they own an apartment building? Why does the mafia do anything? Rich men getting richer. Okay, do you not worry about how safe it is to live in a mafia-owned building? Aren't there violent shootouts? Okay, look here, Addison. <laughs> the mafia tries to keep discreet, so shooting up a whole building wouldn't be a good strategy. They're good about keeping that violence out of here anyway. But you'll see some wild shit every now and then. Hmm, like a wounded man in an elevator, dead bodies in the basement, a mysterious man in a suit. I'm saying a mysterious man in a suit. Lots of those. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> As you chat with the other tenants, Sia and Jake inch ever close to one another. Hmm. They look cozy. I'm going to help them get together. Let them handle it themselves. Try to keep them apart. No, why would I do that? I'm going to help them get together, y'all. Get it, yeah. Get it, yeah. Get it, yeah. Okay, you take a cheese tray and scoot it between them on the counter behind them. Hmm. Sia can't resist a cheese tray. As she notices the cheese and goes for it, you ask Jake if he can handle, or if he can handle a slice of Gouda. They both reach at the same time and like magic, their hands touch. Sia giggles. Good, God, I'm good. <laughs> Sia gives you a pleading look until you agree to leave the apartment without her. You are. I don't know if I wanted to like completely leave her there. Like we don't even know this guy though. Like that's kind of creepy. But anyway. That night, you sleep like a rock until the afternoon reaches through your giant bedroom windows. Hmm, eventually I need to start working on my newspaper column again. But am I ready yet to write about love? Hmm. You head down to Gianni's, where you and Sia were supposed to meet for lunch. After an hour, she still hasn't shown. Have you finished your spaghetti? See, we should have never left her there. What happened? Sia, I swear to God. 
can I get anything else for you? Just to check, I've been stood up. The meal's been paid for. Wait, who paid it? By whom? I'm not at liberty to say. Well, who am I to turn down a free meal? Thank you. <laughs> who paid for my meal? That was, it was probably cold, y'all. But where is Sia? See, see, now I'm worried. See, we should have never did that. With your afternoon suddenly free, you head down to the running track. Cole said this would be where to find him. As you round the first bend, your knees weaken at the sight of a tall shadow waiting by the wall. Looking for me. Oh, and what if I was? You think everything's about you? I'm just running. I'm saying, and what if I was? I say you succeeded. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Admitted, Addison, you were looking for me. Once you say the words, we can move on. But I need you to be honest with me. Okay, I'm going to be honest and tell Cole I was hoping to see him. Yep, I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Fine, I'm an honest woman. I came down here hoping to run into you. I'm glad we're telling each other the truth. You lean toward and place a hand on your hip. Are we now? Because there's so many things I'd like to ask you. Cole heads up his hands in surrender. I'll tell you anything I'm able to. But we both know that you like the mystery. The mystery man thing is sexy, I admit. I see how much you like it. It's in your eyes every time you look at me. <laughs> your body flames at his deep rumbling voice and his accusation. As Cole steps into the light, your breath catches at the sight of his bare chest. His muscles are carved like stone into his torso, but his chest is covered in scars like a map of his life's misdeeds. Your gaze snaps up to his face as you try to think of something else to say. So it's the building really owned by the mafia? Cole takes a step towards you, closing the gap. Who told you that? <laughs> Lots of people. You want the truth? Um, always, y'all. Yeah. This building is owned by a man high up in the mafia. Yes, that's all I can say right now. Hmm. So it's true. How does it make you feel, Addison, to know you live amid violence? <laughs> I feel surprisingly calm, frightened, intrigued, but I'm intrigued, honestly. <laughs> Don't go looking for information you can't handle. Really, I can handle anything. Without realizing it, your gaze has traveled back to his scars. Is he really a mafia or is this all some stupid joke? Huh. His lips turn up in a half grin as he catches you looking at his bare chest. But when he peers down at his own body, he frowns my scars you have a lot of them you must think i look rough mm, he traces one of the deeper scars with his finger a faraway look passing over him would you touch a man so ruined as this i want to trace his scars with my finger and tell him that they're beautiful <laughs> let's say that you reach out hovering one finger above his thickest scar may i he grabs your hand and places it for you onto his skin. As he moves your hand along his body, your finger traces the old wound up and around his navel. What happened? Knife, I was 16. His abs underneath your touch are hard as slate, but the raised up scar tells another story. His muscles make him seem indestructible, but these scars prove his vulnerability. I'm so sorry. It was a long time ago. Huh. He lets go of your hand and you allow your arm to fall back to your side. Cole still stands close so near to you that you could take one step and be in his arms. His eyes as they find yours soften and shine. Your heart throbs in your chest as he holds you with his stare. It's good I ran into you. And why is that? I'm glad I ran into you too. Who knew running would bring us together? I'm saying, why is that? Huh? I like seeing you for one thing. Okay, and for another, I'm visiting a friend restaurant tonight. Classy place, brand new. Come with me. It's a date. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. He's just making dates and it's like, sir, I didn't even say yes. Talk about it's a date. Okay, y'all, 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 let me know how y'all feeling about this story, y'all. It looks like they finished the book too, so I guess we're going to finish it too because so far, I'm a loving it, you I love this story. I love that he's an asshole. Like, it's freaking great. And the mafia, I want to get, like, deeper in that. And what happened to our best friend? 
y'all she better not she better y'all I'm scared I'm scared of it <laughs> anyway y'all anyway y'all thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate it remember to like comment subscribe share if you care and I will catch y'all